All right, guys, welcome back to The Existential Way. Kevin Meredith here. Today I'm going to be closing on the Gangstalkers Are Born, God's Plan Is Real series. Uh, before closing out the year, it's about that time. I got a busy end of the year, and so uh, the first of next year is right around the corner. And um, yeah, I just want to leave you guys with some encouragement. Uh, and um, just to be blessed through all this, uh, knowing that God is doing something greater in our lives that is even beyond um, us knowing what we're going through. And if that in and of itself can lead you to a greater witness of your faith in the testimony that God is building for the sake of His glory in your life, then that this is a grounds to really take that leap of faith in um, going into the new year before we're even there, you know. Um, and so, keeping the hope alive is something that we must allow God to intercede for in our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, you know, whenever we get stuck in an area, we can always back on out into the bigger picture of what God wants to show us by using these little uh, you know, things that are going on in our, in our targeting to redirect us back into the straight and narrow. And um, God does have a plan. It is real. And it includes us, you know, those of us who can see. I can't doubt it at this point. I can't deny it. It's, it's, God is, you know, we're, we're, we're so close to the end. Um, Satan's time is almost up. And so, you know, that's something that we can't deny either. It's just everything coming together according to God's plan. And we're just recipients to be grafted into it spiritually speaking and so you know I lift you guys up I pray that you guys are um, you know a lot of us we might be weary but we're also battle tested <coughs> excuse me <coughs> my sinuses are draining here Got a little snow on the mountain today. It's a change of season. Um, quiet times. I'm uh, also I'm really appreciative of you guys donating. Um, everything that you guys give goes to uh, maintenance and upkeep of the existential way personal outreach, the website maintenance part of it, the the domain name um, the domain names that go along with it and um, so you know the money's there when the time comes to uh, extend um, you know and and realize guys you know I really appreciate the few that have given because you know that's what's needed God provides the need to keep the ministry going and, and you guys are just a part of that, those of you. Who, and, and also, at a financial level, I'm appreciative. But, but from a listener level, I'm, I'm just as appreciative as well for you guys just listening in. Because it, it means a lot to me. It, it does help me as well, you know, through this. This is, you know, I wouldn't, you know, be speaking so much if I didn't, wasn't able to uh, be supported by the audience that God has, has brought uh, forth to listen so you know I, I want to let you guys know that um, for those of you who listen it, it really I, I do not overlook and I fully appreciate um, you guys being there and encouraging me you know as well this is I'm not gonna lie this is one reason I also reach out to in the form of, of personal outreach is um, the open line of communication that God puts on our hearts to, to reach out to one another and uh, spirit and truth is, you know, it's a blessing. 
especially when the times are trying, you know, to be able to relate to the few, which is you guys, the poor, which is us, you know. To know that we are going through something that that is so relatable on so many levels, yet the world doesn't understand it, you know. So it's, I receive it humbly, you know. It, it builds upon, you know, although our, you know, our struggles might be different in this targeting and in, in this examination, personally speaking, we know that this is God's doing in drawing us closer to his son, who the world knows as Jesus Christ. And um, we're together, as, you, know, you know, on this, you know, as an end result. God is, is, is the formation of what he's doing. It's totally him, you know. And so, um, you know, I guess the, the, the advice that I have, if, if your targeting's heavy, um, make the attempt to compose yourself as best you can. Um, give it to God and um, allow God to really transform you to be able to respond by a quickening of the spirit to begin doing a routine this upcoming year that is it, it's up to God's standard it's it's reaching it's not to become perfect in and of our own natures but to really allow God to 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 spiritually equip us in a fruit bearing way so that we may better be able to to carry the witness of God through us in this upcoming year and this year, I just, you know, it's like it just started and we're already in the, we're already going in. It's already Thanksgiving, but we're already going into the 12th month. Like, where did this year go? You know, I felt like, you know, I do remember, uh, I do remember and think about a lot of people that, that have come and gone, you know. And um, it's like, it's like it's yesterday, you know, because I think you and I, we don't have a function that is, it just disappears because we're, we're in the space-time continuum, you know. These relationships are, because I think we're so empathic, they, they, it's a part of our compassionate nature to keep these, you know, memories in our heart and, and also going forward, you know, uh, to be able to be used by the encouragement of others to, to, to help our walks as well, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. And so... Yeah, once again, guys, it's just... The times are changing, and, and, and God, you know, if, you're feeling like, if you feel like you're out on an island, you know, um, you can always bring it to God, you know, and He'll deliver you through this, you know. And you may not think so at times. You maybe think, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in this state of weariness constantly, you know. And a lot of us are going through... through different levels of that, you know. Uh, but there's some areas that are meant to build up, and there's some areas that are meant to kind of shed away, you know, refine us through that spiritual fire so that those things aren't, aren't a burden to our walks. understand that, you know, we're just in the world, we're not of it. And if you're able to set your, your eyes on the things of the Lord and what He has for you, you know, narrow is the way. And so, may God keep you, may He keep you your attention focused on May he leave a greater impact in your life, more so than the distraction that, that's going on around us, you know. Um, that's my hope. It's very simple this year, even for myself. I say these things because a lot of them apply just directly to myself. And, um, you know, may God bless you, you know, with that as well, you know.
but understand that you're not alone out there. You know, there's a lot of us who are going through the same exact thing as you are. You know, in our own time, you know, of um, examination. And so, um, yeah, it feels like the so-called TI community is at a, a standstill or just, you know, hanging in there. But God has it all covered. You know, things that aren't meant to be right now, the full light of them will come into fruition in, in God's season for us as a body, you know, to prove all things for or against what is beneficial for us and not, you know. And sometimes we're, we can be relief-oriented more so through this to things that are not, but we have to be, first begin by seeing this in and of ourselves, our own states of existence, and why, you know, you might feel at a standstill personally, but knowing that there's still work to be done in the kingdom, and we have to get this stuff done, you know, and um, we have a mission at hand, you know. And so, you got to hold on, you know. Um... If you have to help a brother or sister carry one's cross through this, and um, we have to do that too, spiritually speaking, we have to edify one another, build one another up, exhort one another unto unto the Lord, you know, so that so that His intercession will be His provision for us, you know, um, you know. So once again, guys. More so, this is a podcast of just being appreciative and thanking you guys for just being on the other end and just, you know, being there for me, you know, because it's it's quiet times over here as well, you know. But, um, you know, the world will go on until it doesn't go on. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> oh, sorry. About that. No worries. <laughs> What kind of bulldog is this? She's English. English, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is this oh. a puppy? Is this the is this the puppy? Yeah, she's five months old. <laughs> she's pretty hyper. Yeah. <laughs> nope, nope, those aren't your keys. Have a good one. All right, take care, man. God bless. Um. And so, try not to pay mind to too much of the gang stalkers because, in due time. Um, in due season when we're translated God he will have blotted out the memory of this whole thing and we will be encapsulated in something that we can't we couldn't even fathom you know and um, Christ said to one of the criminals hanging on the cross with him. Um, you know, I think he said, and I don't, don't quote me on it, guys, I think he said, today you're going to be with me in paradise. And it it reminded me of this, this basically these two words of, of everlasting paradise. And to have glimpsed the hope of that, the world will never understand, you know. You know, <clears throat> one of the criminals mocked him, and the other asked Christ to remember him. And, uh, you know, I guess this implies a decision that you and I have as as free moral agents to God is really live out that free will. And if you choose right standing with God, then you'll truly get to witness God's unconditional love. 
And if you find it, I believe it's God's hope that the discipline He has for us is not Well, we know it's not conditional to this world, but it's to get us to be sanctified to the unconditional, sanctified place of, of His, the totality of receiving uh, His love, His agape in spirit and truth. You know, and with that comes responsibility, and with that comes the command to be obedient. That's the truth of God's love. That's that's this message, you know. And it's really, it can only be understood if you desire to have a relationship with God and you enter that and you, you seek forgiveness. You know, you repent of your sins. Not saying you won't ever sin again. Don't get me wrong. But know that God loves you and He has more for you. And, and if... And if the, you know, the best way to, to overcome this world and this program is to set your own eyes on the things of the Lord. So I want to wish you guys a <laughs> blessed close to the season. And, um, you know, don't forget, don't be afraid to comment if you do. Don't be afraid to subscribe if you haven't already or like. And, um, you know... Even if you feel like kicking down a few bucks for some iced coffees, let God, you know, pray about it. Let God put it on your heart. And, uh, you know, all will be well with your soul either way. But, but go within. All right, guys. I love you guys. Be blessed this year. And until the next one, Godspeed.